All right. Sweet. Three, two, one. Rolling, Bobby. Well, Mr. De Palma, we meet again on the yes, occasion. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. On the occasion of uh, the opening of your film, Body Double. And uh, let's get something squared away now, right from the top, because uh, we hear, yes, it was, no, it wasn't. Okay, was it going to be rated X? No. <laughs> okay, but you've heard that, haven't you? That, that, that it was going to have an well, X see, it's, rating. That's always difficult to determine until you've made the movie and you submit it to the ratings board. Any movie can be potentially rated X. When you're dealing with a movie like mine where you have suspense, you have murder, you have uh, all kinds of erotic things in it, you're always walking a very thin line and there's always a potential that when you get in front of the ratings board they may think it's too excessive and consequently you will be rated X. Uh, in this case we were able to make some changes in the movie in which we were rated R. Body double is rated R. Okay. Let's clear that up. Okay. The changes, were they um, just cutting a scene a little shorter like you did in no, Scarface? No, they were basically blowing up a scene from, let's say, this to this. Yeah, I got you. Okay. <laughs> a little tighter shot. Okay. <laughs> right. Got gotcha. you. All right. Um, the scene that will be most discussed in this film will, of course, be the electric drill scene. Right. You remember that scene, Mr. Yeah, De Palma? I remember that scene. <laughs> okay. Um, now, in Scarface, of course, you had the chainsaw scene. Right. Is it that you feel now that uh, the people who are followers of Brian De Palma's films would feel cheated if you didn't have one of these kinds of scenes? Well, I, I hate to be accused of things that weren't entirely my idea. The chainsaw in Scarface was from the Oliver Stone script. It was not my idea, based on some research he had done in Florida in which there was a gang shootout and there were a lot of people chopped up with a chainsaw and dumped into trash bins. This was sort of a, to get the concept of the kind of brutality of the South American gangsters that are you know, running cocaine back and forth. Uh, in body double, I'd always played with the idea of having a murder instrument that was electrical so that when you were going toward somebody, the plug would pull out. I've been thinking about it since sisters, really. Uh, the fact that they come one after the other makes one think I'm getting into uh, electrical hardware, but that's not essentially true. And also the fact that uh, the Indian wants to be witnessed as a safe cracker. So he has a drill there, supposedly, to open up the safe. That is not the murder instrument he's planning to use. Mr. De Palma, if somebody came to you or had someone come to you with, say, Terms of Endearment and Ghostbusters, would you have been happy to direct those films? Yeah, I mean, I'm really usually attracted to, you know, either I generate the material myself or I read another script that I really like. That was certainly the case in Scarface, which is not like my normal type of movie. But, but if they'd come to you with terms of endearment, would you have been interested or would if you? If it was very good material and a very well written script, sure. I'm a director essentially and I can direct anything. Ghostbusters, terms of endearment, or Lassie comes home. But, <laughs> but the films that, that you generate yourself, that you write, are of a darker nature, are they not? Well, because I'm primarily interested in a kind of cinematic storytelling that lends itself best in suspense films. I also like murder mysteries. That's just my, you know, personal choice, basically. But I, I get sort of over overexposed to this kind of material because I do it a lot and I like to do other kinds of stuff, sure. Got any offers? <laughs> no, 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 it's not my bag. Um, let me, um, you have been quoted as saying that you would not go see your films. Now, now is no, that a true quote? I would quote? not essentially go see a horror film or a terror film because I do not like to be scared. You don't think your films are scary? Oh, they certainly are, but I don't. I am not scared by them. <laughs> It's all right for you to be scared by them, but I'm not scared by them. 
But you, you, do you go see other people's scary films, Halloween? Sort of as a kind of academic interest, but I don't like movies where people jump out of places and go boo and you jump out of your seat. That's not my idea of a good time. <laughs> when you, if you're just going to a movie, just for fun, hmm. what would you, or just, just because you want to see a film and not that you're checking on your competition or anything, right. what do you go see? Well, I sort of like movies that sort of take me out of the life I lead to some extent, take you away from the world that you're normally in all the time. You know, one of my favorite movies is like The Red Shoes. You know, that's sort of a whole different world and, and it's sort of fantasy and dreamy and stuff like that. I like that. And more currently, what might a film be that would interest you? Amadeus. Here, here, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, Mr. De Palma, thank you for talking with us. And uh, Body Double, I think, is going to do very well. Why, thank you. Okay. Nice thank to see you. you. <laughs> thank Bye -bye. you. Pause. Then three, two, one. Three. Rolling. Was the movie originally going to be X? So what kinds of changes did you have to make then? In Scarface you had the In Scarface you had the chainsaw. In this one you have the electric drill. Now, do you feel that you just have to go that route because that's what Brian De Palma fans expect? You have been quoted as saying that you really wouldn't want to go to your own films. Is that true? Why would you not want to go to your own films? If you were going to a movie just that you wanted to see and that you weren't checking on your competition or anybody, what would you like to see? More currently, which movie would appeal to you? If they had come to you with Terms of Endearment or Ghostbusters, would you have been interested in directing those pictures? Okay. All right, reactions now. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good.